Hello there and welcome. My name is David Arena. I'm a Senior Specialist and Applications Engineer on the 3D Scanning Team here at GoEngineer. Today's short video, using CareerForms VX model software, I'll be showing how to first align scan data to the origin, then create a cross-section on the scan data to be used downstream to create a revolved sketch. Entities created in VX model can be either exported or transferred to various CAD programs to continue the modeling process. In this case, SOLIDWORKS. Let's get started. So here we are in VX model from CreaForm. We can see we have a mesh here on the screen. The mesh is a scan of a bottle. Um, it's not perfect. You can see there's some data missing there, but uh, for what our purposes are today, we are not required to have a watertight mesh. You can also see here, it's not really aligned to any coordinate system. If I go ahead and go to a predefined view, Let's look down the z-axis. You can see where it looks skewed if we're looking down here at the positive z direction. So the origin's right here as well, kind of indicating that the part needs to be aligned. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of entities to help us align this to the origin. First, I'm going to actually create a cylinder right here in this middle section. So I'm going to pick one of my selection tools. I'm going to select through the data. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball an area where I perceive to be a cylinder on the scan. So once that's selected, I can go ahead and say I want to create a cylinder. It does a best fit to that selection. Next, what I want to do is I want to create a plane that's perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane. and It's going to be a constructed plane. The method I'm going to choose is pick point and normal line. So the point I'm going to pick is actually a vertex on the mesh. Then the line will be the cylinder axis. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit here so I can see a good spot. Take that point. So now you can see a preview here of that plane that is perpendicular to the axis of that cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now I'm going to go to the alignment. I'm going to do a manual alignment. And I need to basically pick the entities I created and constrain them. So the first one is going to be plane number one. The constraint is going to be my XY plane. Essentially, that will be the front plane in SOLIDWORKS when we get there. And the second constraint I'm going to use here is I'm going to say I want to use the axis of the cylinder, I'm going to constrain that to the z-axis. So that constrains that to the z-axis, essentially centering the bottle about the origin here. So now you can see it's centered. And I don't need a third constraint here. Two is all I need. I'm not going to clock this against any other feature. So I'll say OK to that. And now when I go to a predefined view, let's do the z-positive again. You can see now we're looking straight down the bottle. If we rotate this around, we can see that the origin is centered on the other side. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and create a cross section. And I'm going to choose the radial method. So here we need an axis of rotation. So we're going to go ahead and pick the Z axis. The initial plane, if I zoom up here a little bit and look at this here, we're basically going to create a cross section along the what would be the YZ plane. So I can pick that from the list. And now we get a preview of that cross section at that location. And you can see it's kind of broken up there. That's because of the, the holes in the data. You can see how many curves this is going to generate if we accept this currently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the location of this position. I'm going to look for a spot where it looks pretty clean where I can get a solid curve. So I'm going to grab this little ring here and I'm going to rotate it here to the right a bit so I can kind of see clearly that I'm going to get a solid curve. On that list here you can see it's a single curve. So that looks like it's a good spot. One other thing though, I don't need the entire curve going through both sides of the bottle. It's all it works when we draw this. We're just going to draw half of this. 
So I have the ability to take this control point here on this plane. I'm going to raise it up ever so slightly just below the axis of rotation, just so I see where that is. Now we can look, get a quick review of that curve. It looks pretty good. I'll say OK to that. After that, we're going to expand this here so we can kind of see the entities that we created. So you can see here that we have the three entities, cylinder, plane, and the cross section. We're going to transfer that to SolidWorks. OK, so now we're in SolidWorks. The first thing I'm going to do is edit that cross section that we brought in. And I'm going to tell it that it is for construction. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the sketch. And I'm going to create my own sketch on the sketch plane used in the cross section in VX model. So here, basically, I'm just going to draw a series of lines and arcs to draw half of the profile for the revolution. So I'm going to start here at the neck of the bottle and draw some lines to define the neck of the bottle. So the first three here are going to be three lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw another line. And you can see that I'm coincident to the underlying constructed sketch. After that, I'm going to go ahead and draw a tangent arc. I'm going to draw a second tangent arc. Now I'm just going to extend that as a line profile. At this point, I'm ready to start adding a few fillets here. So I'm going to start here at the bottom of the bottle. I'm going to add a fillet, and then I get a preview of that. I'm going to go ahead and drag that and eyeball it to where it looks accurate. I'm going to draw a second fillet now. And again, I get a preview, and then I can edit that by grabbing the yellow section. So once those fillets are done, at this point, it's just a matter of trimming some geometry up using corner trim. I'm going to trim up these two lines here and the two lines here at the top. Lastly, the center line and that horizontal line. So now I got a closed. Profile. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the trim. Exit out of the sketch. I'm going to come up and do a revolved base. I need to tell it the axis of revolution. And I have a preview of the bottle. I'll go ahead and accept that. At this point, I've created basically a single feature using a revolved sketch from VX model. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.